Today we're going to be talking about the Rococo period. The Rococo takes place in the 18th century in France, and all of the art was paid for by the aristocracy. Stylistic features of the Rococo period are lightened palette, delicate interior style, reflective surfaces, ballet-like poses, and feathery brush strokes. The subject matter is mythological scenes and fete galant, rich people doing rich people stuff, leisurely activities, and enjoying life. Architecture, Parisian townhouses, Germain Boffrand, Salon de la Princesse, Hotel de Soubis, begun in 1732. This was a living room of a townhouse in Paris. It uses reflected light from mirrors and gilded surfaces. It's highly ornamented and detailed. Johann Balthazar Newman, interior, Church of the Wiersenhilgen. Characterized by curved and undulated wall surfaces, as well as arches, vaults, and columns. Decoration is integrated into the architecture. Fancy foliage patterns line the capitals, as well as the vaulted ceiling. These are some of the works of Jean-Antoine Watteau. The first is the signboard of Gersaint. Watteau originated the French Rococo style in painting. This was painted for the art dealer Edmé Francois Gersaint, who developed the idea of selling paintings by catalog. It features a glossy reflective light on the ladies' satin gowns as well as several mirrors throughout the piece. The second is Pilgrimage to the Island of Cythera. It depicts wealthy people finishing their picnic on an island devoted to Venus, the goddess of love. Feathery brushstrokes are seen in trees, giving the piece an atmospheric haze. Reflective light is shown in the extravagant satin gowns. Francois Boucher, Girl Reclining, Louis O. Murphy. Boucher was mostly commissioned by King Louis XV. He painted mythological scenes as well as portraits and scenes of everyday life. This painting features Marie Louise O. Murphy, who as a young teenager became one of Louis XV's mistresses. Jean-Honré Fragonard, The Swing. Subjects are wealthy, wearing luxurious fancy clothes, and the setting is in a lush, overgrown garden. Feathery brushstrokes are seen in the trees, giving the piece a dreamlike, sensual feel. Clodion, The Invention of the Balloon. Terracotta sculpture to act as a model for the large-scale monument for the 1783 invention of the hot air balloon. Mythological beings, a wind god and a puti, swirl around the piece, launching the balloon from the column. Rosalba Carriera, Charles Sackville, the second Duke of Dorset. This is a portrait of the British aristocrat, Charles Sackville, created in pastel, which gives it the soft, feathery look and light colors that paintings of the period also had.